Shalom, one, the poor honest three apostles of GMS, honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. Right, I felt compelled to to do this little video here um, based off of watching the elders and one of the elders made a, a beautiful point in that one of the elders said, man, really, all right, as the scripture is going to say, it's going to show you right here, man, we're waiting for the elect to be sealed. All right, then, then this kingdom's gonna be, then this kingdom's gonna be destroyed. All right, so it will behoove you, all right, to get this work done. All right, so you see the Mosai is building up in the house, man. Right, and that house needs workers for that house to be built it up. All right, or to be built up to be, uh, um, you know, correct in, in speech, quote unquote. All right, so you need workers to be working out there. So you got guys out here, right? That make all kind of comments, all kind of scoffing ass, you know, uh, uh, derogatory comments against the elders, against the men of GMS, against the men that go out there faithfully and true, right? Pushing this work in season and out of season, like the scripture says. Matter of fact, let me get that up because I only prepared some of the precepts, but I knew as I started making the videos, you know, the precepts gonna flow out. All right, so in season and out. Alright, and that should bring up the precept I'm looking for. This is the book of 2 Timothy, the 4th chapter, and the 2nd verse. It says, preach the word. What's the word? The whole scriptures. Alright, speaking about law, prophecies. Alright, because you've got to keep the law, man. Alright, you can only do it to the best of your ability, which is more of a reason why you should be praying for the destruction of this kingdom and doing the work even more so. Right, so you got one one group of people out here, namely IUIC, which is all which is all they're all about making money. Right, you 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 know you don't have to be you don't have to be uh, 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 you don't have to be uh, you don't have to have eyes to know that these people are all about making money. All right, but they their whole thing is about the law, the law, the law, the law. All right, see, if you was really if you re if you really was gonna get into the law, like really how the men at GMS do, all right. You quickly find out, man, there's only so much you can do in this society. Don't you know that there's certain foods out there? Right, that they got pork in there? Alright, and they won't tell you that they got pork in there? Alright? And there's many other examples that follow the same pattern. Why? Because the scripture says, first and foremost, going back onto the prophecy that was given unto, I believe it might have been Hosea. Alright, he told, he told, the most I told Hosea to eat dungs, a, a man's, a, Ezekiel, it might have been Ezekiel. To eat man's dung, man. Right? Then he moved it up to cow's dung, because that was that was gonna represent how we was gonna eat our food food defiled amongst the Gentiles right now. Defiled in what sense? What makes something defiled, man? The fact that it is contrary to the scriptures. Alright, you got these Japanese uh, uh, scientists out here making hamburger meat, alright? You know, making making burger meat from damn doo doo, man, from feces, from from, from human feces, man. Alright, so, so you know this world is all, you know, that's why the scripture says, surely your things, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Now like getting back onto the point, this is the second Peter's four, the fourth chapter and the second verse. Alright, it says, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. The point I was making when I went through that, um, soliloquy was the fact, man, they're all about the law. If you really was about the law, then you find out quite quickly, man. All right, that you can't really keep it properly in this society. Why? Because this man has to be destroyed. He has to be has to be put down. All right. Therefore, you'll be more into this this vein of thinking, man. Preaching the word, being an instant, instant, in season and out of season. All right. Right. So that so so that what's going to say here in the, in 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 this in this um in this precept here can be fulfilled, and we can get up out of here, man. All right. It says reprove. Rebuke, right? What does reprove and rebuke mean? You got a child, and the child goes off. You're gonna mock him. You're gonna, you're gonna hit him. So we hit you with the scriptures, like the scripture says in in, in the book of um Hebrews, the fourth chapter, and the twelve verse, man. The word of the Most High is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even and to the dividing, right? Of, as under of the soul and spirit, man. Meaning to say, when we out here, man, it's like we're swinging a sword at you guys, man. All right. Cutting up all of your, all of the thought that all of the thoughts that you you thought were correct, all right, 
and reproving them, man. All right, making them correct by way of the scriptures. All right, and that's and that's that's the mind mentality you're supposed to be. And see, you, you got another group of guys that will say, "Yo, man, you you guys are too harsh. You don't love the two thirds." Well, first and foremost, you ain't supposed to love the two thirds. The book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, tells you that it says, "Concern, don't concern yourself anymore." As concerning the the the, mult the multitude, the multitude, right, the multitude that shall perish, man. So the Most High is going to do an ethnic cleansing, right, within within amidst the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, he's going to do an ethnic cl cleansing, man. You know, he's going to he's going to remove all of those those uh, uh, defile people that defile themselves by way of not taking heed to the word, right, taking heed to the reproof, right. Let me pull up the scripture here because it, it goes quite nice. The book of Proverbs, the first chapter, right? And it speaks about the same thing I'm talking about now, the two thirds. Right, it's the Proverbs, the first chapter, around about the 26th verse. Right? Therefore, I will also laugh at your calamity. I'll mock when your fear cometh. Right? When your fear cometh as a desolation and, the, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind and distress and anguish cometh upon you. So you got the twelve, you got the, you got the, um, the hundred forty-four thousand and one third is gonna make it, and gonna be a part of this calamity that's gonna be part, uh, that's gonna uh, befall the earth. And it's so doing, right? You need workers, right? So you gotta be out there pushing this word, man, persistently in this work, because that's that's what's gonna bring about happiness and joy. Doesn't not the scripture uh, say, uh, um, amongst these nations you're gonna find no east. Alright, so you can be in all kinds of situations, man. It can look like it's nice, man, on the surface. But when you're really getting into it, man, it, it'd be bitter as hell. And for the, for the most part, man, that's how I know how you, Jake's life, you know, how you, how, you know, you got hard drop truth there, talking about financial, uh, 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 gains and all of that. But really, man, you're an Israelite, man. Don't ever forget that, man. Alright? Meaning to say, we know the curse is upon you, man. You, you make, you're, you're making it out like you're this big time, big shot and all of that. Right, you know, going back a, a, a while now. All right, but you know, when he said you can cause us bombites and all of that, really, really, all the Israel throughout the twelve five tribes, Israel, wherever they may be, whether they think they're on some high pedestal, man, it ain't no high pedestal when you're taking rods up the ass so you can be a millionaire, man. That's even that's even worse than a, 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 than the dude that sleeps on the street, man. Because the most I ain't gonna be dealing with a dude that's bending over tables for money's sake, man. The most side swears he's gonna come for the meat, man. So the guy on the, the bum on the street, guess what, man? All right? And that's heavy. I said that because guess what? We we are right out there on the street, man. We're the bums, man. All right? So we take that. We we wear that. We wear that with with joy and, and pride, man. But the point I was making, even though you, you think you're in this real good situation, you really ain't, man. And you know that deep down, man. All of you guys out there that, that get comfortable in the society, man. But see, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a as a whirlwind. Right, and your anguish cometh upon you. Then shall you call upon the name of the Most High, and then you gonna remember, oh yeah, Yahweh, 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 please save me out of this. But guess what it's gonna say, man? It says they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So the Most High, they, you ain't you ain't gonna find the Most High in that day, man. You're gonna get you ain't gonna get no response, man. All right, the the, the phone's gonna go straight to voice, man. man. You are gonna leave your message, and it ain't gonna be returned, man. All right, and they shall not find me, for they hated me. As you hate. You hate the, the knowledge that, that's pushed out, that you hate how it's pushed. You hate the men that pushed them, but that's not the scripture to say, uh, um, uh, woe well to, well to them that are offended in me, or, 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 or is it, it says, blessed are they that are not offended in me, vice versa. It's all the same thing, man. All right? It says, for they hate knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. It says, they will none of my reproofs, so when, you know, uh, uh, this, this is the point I was getting at here, man, to reproof, uh, none of the reproof, that's the instruction we're giving out here, man. I'm going to show you the, the Old Testament and New Testament go hand in hand. You got some other guys here, oh, some other Israelite groups that say they they don't they don't deal with certain sections of the of the book. But wait, hold on a minute. There's prophecies within the book of Deuteronomy itself concerning the law and concerning how the Mosai was gonna destroy these people and then raise them back up again. That ain't been fulfilled. All right. There's prophecies within the law, right? Because the law was a prophecy as well, man. There's prophecies within the Old Testament that ain't been fulfilled yet, man. All right, it says reprove, right, rebuke, and hanging on to that point, like what it says here, they would none of my reproof, right? 
they would none of my reproof, all right? Uh, uh, where am I? No. But if none of my counsel were the most, they despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways and be filled in their own devices. Right? For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Right? And the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. Right? And like that's what I was saying, man. See a dude, you know, do all kind of wickedness to get some money, man. They ain't living. Okay? It's not living. And then we go into the scriptures as well, man. In Psalms, the 37th chapter, it says, fret not. Because of the works of evil doers, and you see them, quote unquote, getting themselves established and whatever and whatnot, man. All right, when you see that, man, you ain't supposed to be get all butt hurt about that, man. You, you're supposed to be into the words, right? Right, concerned about what it says here, man. To be to be preaching, to be in instant and out of season, in season and out of season. Now, how can you maintain being instant, in season and out of season? You got to be persistently in the word, man. Right, reproving, rebuking, exhorting with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, so that what here is, is, is it, what is prescribed here in the book of Revelations, the first chapter on uh, seventh chapter on down, can be fulfilled, man. Right, it says, and after these things, I saw another. I saw four angels standing right on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, for the wind should not blow on the earth, right, nor on the sea, nor on the tree. And that's talking about those nuclear missiles. So you got these, these uh. Teach. And really, all forms of destruction that's going to come by way of uh, 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 America being destroyed, all right? Because right? it's going to be nukes, but then nukes going to uh, trigger off earthquakes, all right? You know, these uh, these Chinese and these Russians might send off uh, biochemical weapons and all of that. So it's going to be all kind of different things, man. Then you've got the, 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 the fallout as well, the nuclear fallout. So you've got to deal with that as well. So it's going to be grievous, man. It's going to be, really, it's going to be beautiful. Right, for the men of the Lord, when we see you getting all blasted up and I was like, damn, man. Right, look at, look at, look, 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 look what happened to these Edomites, man. That's what happens when you piss the Mosai off. All right. It says, um, no on any tree. It says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the angels, to him it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Right. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have sealed the servants of the Most High in their foreheads. So that's what we're waiting for, man. It says, and I heard the number that was sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of Israel. Right? And it goes into the, the, you know, the 12 tribes. And then it says, and after this, I beheld a lot, a lot of great multitude, which no man could number, which is talking about the one third. Right, of all nations, kindreds, and people, and tongues, right, meaning they would disperse the dias going back onto the diaspora, they would disperse throughout the, the, all of the nations. Cause you got Jacob's a little like Ammonites, Moabites, Japhites, and all of that, man, right? But it's, you know, you know uh, one third of them is going to wake up to who they are, man, who they really are. They're, they're Negroes, they're, they're Israelites, man, right? Before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and with palms in their hands, man, right? So that's the one third and the, 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 uh, and, uh, and the 144,000 there, man. You see, that's what we're waiting for, man. Right? But for them to be sealed, you're going to do some work, man. They ain't just going to, they, they ain't going to find a video that doesn't exist, man. Right? They ain't going to walk up to, to, to a preacher on the street that's not there, man. Right? That's what the scripture says it here, man. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, not here, but rather more there. All right? And going back to the fact that it said uh, a mark right there. This is the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, and the fourth verse. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the sea, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. Man. So, all of this bullshit that you got out here in the society, right? A man deciding that he's, you know, he's, he's unsatisfied with his penis, so you can get another man's penis and get it sewn up on him. Or a man deciding he doesn't want to be a man anymore. He be a woman now, or a woman wanting to be a man now, or a woman loving another woman, or a man loving another man. All right, or a man loving, uh, you know, trying to pop a, a, a woman that's already got a man. But all of those abominations—that's just that's just the, the ones dealing with inter interrelations, man. You know, the food, all of that, man. And he said, "The man hearing, go you after through the midst of the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have pity." So. Like, like the elders always say, man, we're going to jump over crackers to get to certain jakes, man. 
right? The wicked ones, man. The real wicked ones, man. And they be pushing that wicked, wicked vibration. Go jump over crackers for you, man. Because you're the worst. That's why the scripture says that, man. The dead deeds have surpassed that of the wicked. All right. Now let me uh, wrap it, wrap it up, man. What else have I got here? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah, oh, shit. This is this is book of Second John. Uh, Not second John. I want to be. I want to be in John the twenty-first chapter, and the third, verse, I believe, fifteenth verse. So it says, then he, then he, fourteenth. Let me start on the fourteenth. Says this now the third time. Right, Yahushai showed himself to his disciples after he was risen from the dead. So when he had denied. So when they had denied, the house I say unto Simon Peter, son of Jonas, love, lovest thou me more than these? And he say unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. When you go into the scriptures, right? What is love, man? What that? What's that love talking about? Is he talking about some emotional attachment? Right? This is love, right? It says, and this is love that we walk after his commandments. One of those commandments. It's prescribed here because the whole book is law, man. Right? Right? You go through the midst of the city and set a mark upon the men that sigh in the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for the abomination that be done in the midst of. Right? So this is love that we walk after his commandments. Right? And this is the commandments that you have heard from the beginning, man. Alright? So, so all the way from the beginning, man. See, see you, you so called Christians, man, you can't get around that one, man. Right, tells you from the beginning. It doesn't tell. Oh, you can you can keep some, but you can't keep some. You know, it, it says all the way from the beginning, man. All right, getting back onto the point. The book of John, twenty fifth chapter. Right, and uh, I've read the through the fifteenth verse. It says, "Love bestow me eat more than these." And you say, unto him, yea, thou knowest." Say, unto them, feed my flock, feed my lamb. So if you love them all, say, go feed his. Feed his lambs, man. Right? Prophets out there that be sad and crying and don't they don't know why they're angry and all of that, man. That's what they they they, 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 they got that uh, um that zeal, but not according to knowledge. They only got gonna obtain that knowledge if dudes be doing the work, man. Alright, so you gotta put push the work, man. Alright, the highest vibration you could be on is to be a to is to prophecy, man. Right? And you can't prophecy to yourself. In a room, in in a closed door, man. All right, you're gonna be persistent in pushing the work, man. Preaching in season, in season and out of season. All right, when you feel like it, and when you don't feel like it, and more times when you don't feel like it, it's just a demon. Because when you roll up on the video, man, man, and brothers will say this all day, man. I've experienced the same thing myself, man. You be all like a days ago, man, all lazy and all of that, man. All right. The minute that camera turns on, man, that fire hits you, man, you and you and you and you, and you teach, man. And that all go, that all goes back into the scriptures, because when this what does the scripture say, man? When you open your mouth, right, the most is gonna put his words in there, man. Going to show you this ain't about us, man. That's what you see, people get all butt hurt because we boast in the spirit, man. That's not the scripture say you're supposed to boast in the script in, in the spirit, man. In the spirit of your house, Alright, see people get all but about that. See when we when we when we preach, man, we ain't preaching of our own mind and doctrine, man. Alright? Sometimes you be preaching, you cut yourself, man. Alright? But that's because it's the web and the most side coming up, man. Alright, it says uh, and he says if I, again unto again the second time, it says Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Right, and he saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my flocks. Right, he saith unto him a third time, Son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Right, and he says, And Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? Right, he said unto me, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah, so I said unto him, Feed my feed my sheep. So verily, verily, I say unto you, When thou wast young, Right, and then yeah, so pretty much that you know that was the point I was getting, man. Right? right, the point that you you know you're supposed to be doing this work, you, you know you're supposed to be um the way these men is gonna be sealed is by doing doing this work, and you're if you're hell bent on this kingdom being destroyed, 
you'll do this work, man. They shouldn't be anything better to do. Man. All right. And with that, you know, hopefully the point was at home. Um, we'll say double on this to the apostles of GMS. Honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth and sincerity. Shall I want?